So this is what this is for anyone who's interested in finding out a little bit about how I train. I'll follow a push pull and leg day program. So I'll have two push pull days a week and one leg day a week. So this is my leg day. Now I like to train heavy with my legs, uh, ranging from three to one reps. However, the compromise with this is that it's very taxing on your nervous system, which is why I apply a dynamic method to my, my leg day. So what you see me here doing is a, a box squat, right? Now, this week I'll do a box squat, the next week I might squat with bands, a week after that with chains, etc. And the reason, reason why is because you're constantly mixing things up for the squat, which means that you're never completely taxing your central nervous system, which, you know, make sure I don't burn out. So here, as soon as it gets to 140, I start to put the knee wraps on the belt on. Just means I can lift a little bit more weight. Probably adds about 10 to 15 kilos to my squat. I get a nice pop out the bottom. Uh, it means I can just push my legs a bit harder. So this is the heaviest box squat I've done. Uh, my PB before this was 155, did that a few weeks ago. So this is me going for 160, which is a bit of a struggle. And then after that, I'm going to drop it down to 155, but I completely underestimated how fatigued I was um, after that 160. So this is me going for a double, which I do not get. Need quite a bit of help <laughs> getting back up again. Uh, and this is completely my mistake. I should have had a spot, uh, but I was stupid. So then after you go heavy on your squat, you're going to go light and speed, do speed work on your deadlift. So reduce the weight to 50 to 60%. Um, three reps every minute for 10 minutes. And that just improves your, your velocity on the uh, force velocity curve. So this is me just adding a little bit of assistance. I'm generally um, a hamstring dominant person, so when I squat, I get my bum really far back. When I deadlift, it's most of my ham, most of my hamstrings work, mostly my hamstrings working. So then, you know, after in my assistance work, I just overload my quads just to make sure I'm getting a right balance. So then after this, I'll go on to a bit of calf work. Uh, but I won't bore you with that. This is me just finishing off with my cardio, which is um, one, the mile and a half challenge, which I give to myself and all my clients. Um, I managed this mile and a half in a fairly mediocre nine minutes and uh, 13 seconds. So yeah, that's, that's basically how I train. Um, on my push-pull days, I'll bench, overhead press, um, do weighted pull-ups and or muscle-ups and bent rows, um, varying each session which is the speed and which is the heavy if I'm going heavy for reps under five then I'll ensure that I'm applying a dynamic method just to make sure I'm not shocking my central nervous system too much I then prefer to go on to my assistant's work by focusing on the muscles which were recruited in the speed set so for example normally on my heavy squat speed deadlift day I would overload my hamstrings and glutes with reps of around 10 um, or 10, 10 plus because then you're ensuring that you're getting good work on the muscles that weren't really overloaded with the speed work but you're not hitting the, the muscles which were overloaded with the, um, the heavy the heavy work so this is this is my training video I'll post more if you're interested if you have any questions then just contact us at uh, info at revitalizedclinic.co.uk or just post a comment below and i'll talk to you then